Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This is a fast caterpillar conveyor. How it works is you hop in and you start moving really fast, going about 14 meters per second or 30 miles per hour, which is quite fast in Minecraft terms. It's based on this version of the caterpillar conveyor, which I saw in a recent video by Etho. He told me that he didn't actually invent it, he saw it somewhere. Uh, his is much more compact and elegant, but it goes half as fast. So we're only going 15 miles per hour or so, and you could probably sprint about that fast. So it's not quite as fast, but it is much more compact and elegant. It's actually much easier to see how it works if you look at this one. So when I step on this pressure plate, the first one, it's going to power this repeater, which is going to power this block, which will cause the sticky piston to push you from this plate onto this one which is going to repeat the process. It's going to cause this one to push you onto the third one, etc. On and on and on, all the way down. Very elegant design. I like it a lot. Um, but the fact that it has redstone repeaters in it makes it uh, a little bit slower because this, this one is actually able to, to push twice as fast because it doesn't have to wait for redstone updates. It just uh, goes on in every, every game tick uh, rather than redstone ticks. So quite a bit faster. And the idea is that in this design there are no repeaters or torches at all. It's just pressure plates, sticky pistons, and regular pistons, and, and redstone. So I'll actually show you how to build it. Um, so the first bit of trouble comes in when you when you try and build it. It's not obvious how to build this at all. Uh, it took a bit of time and ingenuity to do it. So your first attempt might look something like this, where you're just doing the same thing as the repeater version, but just using redstone instead and that and that'll work for a little bit it'll get you it'll get you these two just fine yep push me off but then when you want to do your third one it doesn't work anymore because this redstone doesn't connect and so the piston isn't going to push and moreover you kind of have another problem where uh, if you have redstone here uh, pressing either plate is going to is going to trigger it so it's it's hard to disambiguate uh, which plate the signal's coming from. So the, the, the version that I have uh, solves those problems and it's tileable but it is it is still fairly large and so I'll just I'll just build it for you um, one at a time. So here's the first one pushes this off that's good and then the second one uh, so we'll have to cover this up so they don't connect. This is all about separating signals that's that's the hardest part here. Okay, this is the second one. Good, good. And the third one actually needs to go sort of underneath, uh, underneath the the plate here. So, got to separate the signals again. And this one takes a much longer path. And then we just add the redstone, the sticky piston, and a block on it. And this is the entire tileable section. You notice they all push me. Um, so you can repeat this. In fact, I'll just go ahead and uh, and drop down uh, the, the same the same as the first piston that I did over there. Uh, you will need to add a block right here to prevent them from connecting. So that would have been like right there. And um, and then another, another sticky piston, just to show you that it does tile. So that works fine. And so that, that's how you do You just do that, can keep doing that down, down one side, and you sort of do the mirror image on the other side. And you need to be careful to make sure, because uh, so, so some of them are, are actually going uh, you know, underneath. Uh, whoops. Uh, which one is it? That one. Yeah. Some of them are going underneath here, so uh, you need to make sure that the, the two sides don't meet up underneath the, all the... All the uh, pressure plates. But that's how you build it. It's uh, it's not too hard, and it helps to use MC Edit to copy the tileable sections. But I thought it was really cool. I think it's some of the fastest, uh, one of the fastest people pushers that. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen. It's one of the fastest people pushers that exists in Minecraft. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.